Welcome back to Good Day. So a simple piece of paper can do so many things, relay information, be a canvas for doodles, even become beautiful animals. For some people. <laughs> We're going to attempt the last idea this morning. Anna Burwell of the Swanton Public Library is here with its community art project, Senbazuru. Yes. Senbazuru. Yes. Okay, I got it. So you brought some beautiful paper. Yes. We're going to do some origami. Huh? Yes, we are. And We're this is specifically... How many swans? A thousand. A thousand Supposedly, swans. Supposedly, according to folk folklore, um, you make a thousand, you get a wish. And because our summer reading program's theme was all together now, it's all about cooperation. Um, we wanted to try and get the community to come together in a nice air-conditioned space. <laughs> um, this week sounds great, right? Yeah. Yes. And at the end, we are going to get our teen volunteers to string them all together, and we are going to decorate the entire library with Beautiful. it. Oh, wow. So, so do you know any uh, history about origami? Any? Um, I know a little bit. I, I studied Japanese a long time ago uh -huh. in college. I studied at OSU back in, like, 2008. <laughs> um, so I'm a little out of practice. Uh -huh. But basically, the folklore goes that um, originally cranes, uh -huh. um, which is where the Zuru in Senbazuru comes okay. from, um, they're good luck. They're good luck symbols in that kind of like area uh -huh. of the um, of Asia, like uh -huh. Japan, China, Korea, um, and somewhere along the line, you got the thousand paper cranes or swans get you a wish. Uh -huh. um, and of course, origami has been around for a long time, as long as they've had paper. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't get popular as an art form until the 1500s, and then it kind of died out. And then, um, I don't know if any of you have read um, Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes, mm -hmm. or no. if your kids have read it for school. That's how I know it's <laughs> I could put that on the reading <laughs> list, uh-huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, it's a very sad story. She um, survived, I can't remember if it was either Hiroshima or Nagasaki, mm -hmm. um, was exposed to a lot of radiation, developed mm -hmm. leukemia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to keep herself sane during her treatment, yeah. um, she folded over 3,000 cranes. cranes. Okay. Wow. Um, unfortunately, she did pass away, yeah. but her story does live on, and that wow. actually sparked an interest in uh, origami once again, starting Very good. in the 1950s. Okay. So a lot of history behind it. So uh, for We're folks at home, this a shot, but they, you... they can grab some paper. What kind of paper do you need? Anything specific? Yeah, as long as it is um, square shaped. Square, okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I have fancy paper. <laughs> but that's because I like my fancy paper. Mm -hmm. um, but as long as it's square shaped, it's fine. Okay. So what we want to do to start is we've got our pattern side up. Okay. Um, you want to face that down towards okay. the tabletop. And we're going to fold this so you make a triangle. Like a corner to corner there? Yeah, corner okay. to corner. So you want to make something like this. Okay. And you are asking people to come out to the library yep. to help with this. You've got something coming up on Friday? Uh, we've got one coming up on Friday and then another one coming up next Friday. And on August 5th, we have Kaze no Daichi, which is a uh, Japanese taiko troupe out mm -hmm. of Bowling Green who will be doing our finale event. Oh, very cool. <laughs> All right. And they're, uh, they're going to be dr uh, drumming. Drumming, yes. Yeah, yes. So, mm, so, so that'll we're be beautiful. Go from nice calming folding to <laughs> <laughs> drums. Let's celebrate. We did it, right? right so what's okay. the next step? So we're going to make another triangle. So you want to have this long side on top. Okay. okay. You fold it in half like this. Okay. And we're on our way, Steve. We're on our right so far. Way. So okay. far. Now comes the hard parts. Oh. All right. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to open this triangle up. So okay. it looks like this. You got this little arm out Ooh. here. Oop. Okay. And then you want to flatten it so you can have a little diamond there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just, okay. I just lost something there. Oh. Okay. So uh, right here. Okay. Is this correct? Mm, open this. Open that. And then do like that. And then do that. All right. Put it in the corner. You yep. want to make it even. Okay. Yeah, you want to have a nice I diamond. taught him. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I realized I picked the wrong pattern of paper. Everything blends together, so you can't really see. see. Okay. All right. You got it? I don't know. Well, yeah, okay. maybe. Sure. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Now, on. you want to flip it over okay. and do the same thing with the other side. Oh, you can do the same thing. Yep. So what we want is a little yeah. diamond like this. Oh, boy. I'm lost. Okay. See? No. Yes. All right. So it's gonna look like this. This uh -huh. is flat. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. I was on the right track here. Maybe. Yeah. Everything's <laughs> wrong about what I'm doing right Me, now. I think mine might be too. I, I don't want to say how many of these I threw away <laughs> when I first tried this. Okay. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. Um. It just looks like okay. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Perfect. I'm still in this. Uh -huh. okay. I'm still in it. Keep going, okay. Amanda. So, you want the folded side on top, right? Okay. 
So we're gonna make a little kite with mm. these first oh, two folds. Kite. Yeah, make oh, a kite. Oh my Amanda. goodness! Yeah. See, there you go. Let's fold it just like that. Use that little center line mm -hmm. where you fold it oh. first. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you got this. We believe in you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. And then this side too. Yep. Okay. All right. It's a little hard for me to. Here we fold go. It upside down. All right. You know, it's just just beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Then you right. flip it over and do the same thing on the other oh, side. Oh, gotta do it again. Okay. Yep. Oh, yep. there's there's a lot of that. There's a lot of folding. <laughs> How long does this usually take um, for someone who knows how to do it? Well? I can make these in a couple of minutes. Okay. But I do this to calm down. Oh, really? So, so it, um, is, it is therapeutic. Th okay. Yes. I, I have a therapist friend of mine who refers to them as crisis cranes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like knitting, you know? Yeah. When I started learning, it was very frustrating. But then once you figure it out, oh, then yeah. it's relaxing, then right? You can do this in your okay. sleep. It's all muscle memory. Okay. Okay. Now, here's the next fun part. Oh, boy. So you take one of these sides. Oh, wow. Open it up. Uh huh. I undo what I did. Uh huh. We're gonna. <laughs> okay. We're gonna open it up again. Oh, okay. So the, we want to try and follow the folds. Oh boy. Oh wow. Oh boy. And That's intense. Open yeah, it up like yeah. You you can see why why it's about 50-50 failure. <laughs> oh boy, what? <laughs> I'm lost now. Okay. So we go from here. Uh huh. Kind of want to open it up open so it, it looks up. like a baby bird's mouth. A baby bird. Mm hmm. And then me. And then you push in yep. and fold. Yep, push in. So so how many people will be teaching? Uh, it looks um, like there's going to be a need for a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention. Yeah, there's about three of us every day, kind of on and off. You make it go all the way flat. Uh, so you want to fold the, the trickiest. <laughs> you know, I'll give you a little hand here. Okay. You know what? I think at this point you should just finish yours so we can see the final <laughs> product. <laughs> I'll give Amanda a chance here. Mm. She's giving me a chance. Oh, I see. Okay. There you go. Okay. All and, right. And okay. Have, and then we do it on the other side. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so okay. I finished, I finished uh, what I have here. You have a paper plane. I do. I Look at that. a plane. Something of beauty. Exactly. Steven, it's beautiful. From, mm -hmm. from your failures. Yes. You can make something good. You can make good. something else. And some fun. wonderful artwork. Yes. S something okay. that I know. So uh, we have to take a quick break and uh, we'll be right back and hopefully Amanda will be done. Oh, I threw my plane and you guys went to. Oh, okay. <laughs> this Never is mind. Really we'll be right back right. with more good day. <laughs> <laughs>